There are few things in this world that have the power to bring people together quite like Mario Kart. You could have a room full of people with nothing in common but fire up that Nintendo and I can almost guarantee they'd all be laughing, joking and bemoaning those blasted blue shells together before the first lap was even over. However, not all Mario Kart tracks are created equal, and although you can zip around pretty much all of the scores of courses that have been released over the years and have a good time, there are a few that stand head and shoulders above the rest. For this list, we're looking back through Mario Kart's entire 30-year history and picking out the courses that are, in our opinion, the best of the best. I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and here are the 10 best Mario Kart tracks of all time. Before we get to the rankings, however, we want to thank SanDisk for making this video possible. SanDisk have released a variety of Mario-themed microSD cards, ranging in sizes from 128GB to 256GB and 400GB. Plus, they have other designs that go up to 512GB. All of these cards look fantastic and are fully compatible with your Nintendo Switch. Plus, with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Booster Course Pass Wave 1 available now and with more great tracks on the way, there's no better time to purchase additional storage. The range of microSD cards would even make an excellent gift for a friend or loved one. And I reckon they'd love you all that much more for it. Aww. A big thank you again to SanDisk for sending us a Nintendo licensed memory card for the Nintendo Switch, and you can find links to the US and UK Western Digital storefronts in the description below. Now, on with the video. Number 10. Electrodrome Mario Kart 8 there are many out there, our writer included, who would rather spend a painful afternoon at the dentist than go to a nightclub. Luckily, Mario Kart 8 takes the good part of being in a club, i.e. the bright lights and the funky music, and combines them with high-octane kart racing. Plus, the floor isn't sticky, so that's an added bonus. Players headed to the Electrodrome can expect to find neon lights, a groovy soundtrack, and more twists and turns than a bowl of spaghetti. Racers take to the skies right off the bat as they glide gracefully from the starting line over something that we sincerely hope is a water feature and not a leaky toilet and down to the main portion of the track. Once you land, you'd better have that drift button at the ready because you're going to need it if you've got any hopes of being first across that finish line. Electrodrome is a visual delight that keeps players guessing from the moment they hit the gas. This is one nightclub you won't want to leave in a hurry. Number 9. Paris Promenade Mario Kart Tour those of you who have ever tried to drive around Paris will know that, unless you're familiar with the city, it can be an absolute nightmare. The beautiful yet labyrinthine streets coupled with copious amounts of traffic are a recipe for some serious road rage. Thanks to the Mario Kart series, though, you can experience all the fun of touring the city by car without having to worry about getting stuck in a jam. Paris Promenade sees players racing across the streets of France's capital city, allowing them to take in all of the sights without having to deal with rush hour traffic. The course is a feast for both the eye and the ears, giving racers the chance to whiz past the Eiffel Tower, Arc de Triomphe and Luxor Obelisk, all whilst a cheerful Parisian soundtrack blares from their speakers. To call the track a delight would be an understatement, as it will have players longing for escargot and a glass of champagne before the race is over. Mario Kart Tour is exclusive to mobile, which we know isn't everyone's preferred platform, so if you'd rather play on a console, then I'm pleased to inform you that Paris Promenade is now available as part of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Number 8. Music Park Mario Kart 7 If there's one thing that unites all of the Mario Kart tracks, it's the fantastic music. If simply hearing an excellent jingle isn't enough for you though, and you wish to be fully absorbed in a musical extravaganza, then you need to make your way over to Mario Kart 7's Music Park. Naturally, the score is a blast, but it's the Music Park's theming that puts it up there with the greats. The course takes players on a magical journey and has them racing around a track that's full to bursting with musical instruments. At the starting line, racers are greeted by giant horns that sound off as they race past, and several sections of the track are constructed from piano keys and xylophones, each of which play a delightful melody as the carts drive across them. When you're not getting your groove on whilst zooming over a ginormous glockenspiel, you'll need to keep an eye out for the giant musical notes that are out to ruin your day, plus all of the standard obstacles one might expect to see whilst enjoying a spot of Mario Kart. Everything about the track is a musical lover's dream, and even if you're losing, you'll still have a great time trying to name all of the instruments you see along the way. Number 7. Ninja Hideaway Mario Kart Tour One of the greatest philosophical questions that continues to divide mankind is the one that debates which is better. 
pirates or ninjas. Although both have their merits, most people still come down strongly on one side or the other. Regardless of whether you're on Team Scallywags or Sneaky Lads, though, when it comes to Mario Kart, ninjas are the clear winner as they're the ones that have turned up with the banging course. Come on, pirates, step up your game. Ninja Hideaway sees racers making their way around a stunning course that's filled to the brim with Japanese theming. Don't get too distracted by the delightful architecture and beautiful cherry blossom trees, though, because the track itself is devilishly tricky to navigate. Barriers are a rarity, so it's very easy to go zooming off the track, and the entire course is littered with obstacles and booby traps, from ninja shy guys to spikes that drop down from the ceiling. The whole thing is, of course, tons of fun, but you'll have to bring your A-game if you've got any hopes of snagging the win. Ninja Hideaway is another track that was exclusive to Mario Kart Tour, but now, thanks to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass, you can enjoy all of the ninja-y fun on your Nintendo Switch. Number 6. Maple Treeway – Mario Kart Wii Although Mario Kart Wii is the worst-reviewed game in the series, those who've played it agree that it's still a darned good time, and with a score of 82 out of 100 on Metacritic, it's still better than most other video games out there. Though the title had its weaknesses, it still went hard when it came to its track designs. Among the best that Mario Kart Wii had to offer was Maple Treeway, which set players on a delightful jaunt through an autumnal forest. You might think that a track presented exclusively in shades of brown, orange, and green wouldn't be particularly exciting, but you'd be wrong, as the course is actually very pretty. Slide around twisting branches, avoid errant caterpillars, and plow through piles of crunchy leaves, all in your quest to take home the first place prize. Just don't get too cocky, because not all of those corners have barriers, and one ill-timed power slide could see you plummeting to the forest floor below. Though it might boast a cozy aesthetic, Maple Treeway is brimming with excitement from start to finish. Once you finish it, lazy Sunday afternoon drives just won't be the same ever again. Number 5. Bowser's Castle – Mario Kart 64 he may be one of the most persistent villains of all time, but part of us feels like we should forgive Bowser's many dastardly deeds on account of the fact that his castle, featured in Mario Kart 64 and several of its sequels, is so much fun to race around. An iteration of Bowser's Castle appeared in Super Mario Kart, however, we're of the opinion that the Mario Kart 64 version is superior. The course sees players making their way through the many corridors of Bowser's Fortress, all of which are connected by some incredibly sharp turns. One misstep can mean the difference between success and barreling into the castle's walls or off a bridge at high speed. Unsurprisingly, the big green lad's home is decked out with a whole bunch of traps, so players will have to be careful to avoid the fire-breathing Bowser statues, multiple thwomps, and the pit of lava. I'm no safety inspector, but that sure as hell doesn't seem like it's up to code. The design of the course is one of the simpler ones we've seen over the years, but it is iconic nonetheless. Just be careful not to leave tire tracks on the carpet, yeah? Number 4. Waluigi Pinball – Mario Kart DS it's probably fair to say that Waluigi is a bit of a rubbish villain. Hell, we even ranked him amongst the worst video game baddies of all time, but just because you're not a very good antagonist, it doesn't necessarily follow that you can't deliver a smashing kart racing track. First appearing in Mario Kart DS, Waluigi Pinball sees players racing around a Waluigi-themed pinball machine. Once the starting clacks and sounds, players are propelled full speed into the machine and must make their way down the track by carefully navigating the twists and turns. It's not just the tight corners and other races you'll have to watch out for, though, as this is an active pinball machine, and so you're going to have to keep your wits about you if you don't want to get flattened by a giant metal ball. Even if you do manage to stay out of the pinball's way, you'll need to keep an eye out for the bumpers and flippers, which will bounce you off course if you're not careful enough to avoid them. The track has a lot going on, and it's the most fun you can have without having to shovel coins into an arcade machine. Say what you will about Waluigi, but he sure plays a mean pinball. Number 3. Baby Park – Mario Kart Double Dash According to some boffins, some of the most stressful things you can experience in life are getting divorced and moving house. Clearly, none of them have ever taken a few laps around Baby Park, though, because if there's one thing that's sure to send your blood pressure through the roof, it's that track. Baby Park really is as simple as it gets. The track is a straightforward NASCAR-style oval, and racers must complete seven laps in the fastest time in order to take that coveted first place spot. Don't be fooled into thinking that winning will be a walk in the… Uh, Baby Park, though, because despite the track's diminutive design, the races can become absolute carnage. Item boxes are everywhere, and once the race starts, it'll take all of your skill as a player to avoid the various obstacles that other races will send flying around the track. If you do get a split second during all the chaos to enjoy the course's setting, you'll see that the track is actually plonked down right in the middle of a theme park, complete with a Ferris wheel, a Bowser ride, and a roller coaster whose track runs right through all of the karting action. Ooh, I hope there's time to go on the Cooper ride one. 
have it done. Number 2. Coconut Mall Mario Kart Wii When it comes to malls or shopping centres if you want to get British about this, people fall into one of two camps. Either you think they're excellent places full of wonder and shiny trinkets, or you think they're overcrowded heck holes. Regardless of where you stand on the matter, we can probably all agree that Coconut Mall from Mario Kart Wii is a place we'd happily spend our free time. The course is themed around a shopping mall, and so racers can expect to boost, weave, and blue shell their way up and down escalators around perfectly pruned palm trees and over fancy fountains. You can get a leg up on the competition by taking a shortcut through stores, but you'll need to be careful not to lose that lead by hitting one of the shoppers that's trying to park their car in the lot outside. What's more is that the whole thing is topped off with a tropical soundtrack that's sure to put a smile on even the grumpiest of faces. There was a rather frightening period of time where we feared that we'd never get to experience Coconut Mall again. You know, unless we dug out the Wii, but thankfully, it's been resurrected as part of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Sounding better and better value by the minute. Number 1. Rainbow Road Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart 64, Mario Kart Super Circuit, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart Arcade GP, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart 7, and Mario Kart… all of them. It's in all of them. You may well have seen this coming a mile off, but there is no track or rather series of tracks more iconic than Rainbow Road, which has appeared in one form or another in every Mario Kart release to date. Though each Rainbow Road is different, there are a handful of features that remain the same. As you might expect, the tracks are all brightly coloured, cycling through all of the different colours of the rainbow as players make their way around them. They're also beautifully designed, transporting players to a wondrous world in the sky to enjoy races amongst the stars. Don't let the lovely scenery fool you though, as rainbow road courses are infuriatingly tricky. Not only are they littered with obstacles, tight corners, and moving surfaces, but they also lack side rails, meaning that a mistimed turn can send players shooting off the track. If all that doesn't have you sold on rainbow road's greatness, then the soundtracks just might, as the courses can always be counted on to bring the bangers. Sure, accidentally driving full pelt into a thwomp is going to hurt your pride, but it always stings a little bit less when you're enjoying the tunes. So congratulations Rainbow Road, we at Triple Jump dub thee the best Mario Kart track of all time. May your excellence forever serve as inspiration to others.